Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to test out Macedo's USB Auto uh, using our ESP8266. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. We'll go ahead and open up our flasher. Now I have the flasher, the drivers, and the uh, the bin file that we need on my desktop. If you don't have the drivers installed already, you can go ahead and just download this and install them. So we're going to go ahead and select the proper serial port, which is COM4. If you're unsure of which port you're on, you can go ahead and open up your file explorer, right click on this PC, hit properties, scroll down on your about tab, right down to device manager, go ahead and open up that and then select ports and you should be able to see what COM you're on. So we'll go ahead and close out of all that. And we'll go ahead and browse for our file, which is right here on the desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and choose yes, wipe all data. And then we can go flash. Now it should connect right away and start erasing. It does take a minute once it does start flashing. I think it's like 50 some seconds. So we'll let that go. Um, as you can see, it's starting to write now. And it is going pretty quick. There's 15%, 20%. So to keep on going up, uh, what we're looking for at the end for a successful flash finish, um, it should come up with a message indicating that it has finished. So there's 50%. Okay, 70%, 80%. I'll also leave a link in the description for the, the 8266 that I have. Um, there's plenty out there. You can get them pretty cheap. I paid $14 for mine, so you could probably get it cheaper than that. Okay, so we can see that it did finish here, but we didn't get our message yet. There we go. So firmware successfully flashed. So we can go ahead and unplug this and plug it into anything that gives power. I use just use my TV because when I have my PlayStation on, I kind of need my TV on. So yeah, you can go ahead and plug it in whatever you want. And we're going to jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now we're over to the PlayStation. We'll go ahead and log in. Go over to our settings, our network. Go ahead and make sure we do have it checked, and then we'll go with set up internet connection. We'll use the Wi-Fi. Easy. Give it a few moments to load all your Wi-Fi connections that are nearby. And we'll select Macedo's. And then the password is Macedo 900. And go ahead and hit OK. Give it a few moments here to get connected. Okay, check in network environment. And we won't bother with test internet connection, that's fine. Go ahead and back out of there. Go up to our user guide. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select our user guide. Uh, we'll give it a few moments to redirect this to the host. And once it does, we'll give it about 30 seconds to pop up with the message to insert our USB. Usually doesn't take that long, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a couple of seconds. It's probably about 10 there. About 15. Okay, we'll go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll give it a few moments here to pop up with the message on supported file system. Okay, there we go. We'll hit OK. Okay, loading Goldhead 2.0 B2. Not enough memory. Sometimes that pops up. Uh, we can go ahead and unplug our USB now. It's going to redo it again. Um, the jailbreak's already done, so it's just a matter of loading Gold 10. Okay, so it's loading Gold 10 now. Okay, and, and there we go. Gold 10 2.0 B2 to load it. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. 
You can see that we do have the goal 10 options now. We can go ahead and load our bin loader server. And we can load our FTP even though we are connected to the the chip, um, the 8622, you can still go ahead and load your FTP. Uh, how fast it'll be transferring through that? Well, it's a 2.4 gigahertz, I believe is the max. So you're not going to get your 5.0. Um, we can also go down. I'll show you the debug settings. And we have all that as well. Uh, we can go ahead and launch the game just to show you that everything is working. I'll use Skitty City Skyline. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on, show you that uh, there's multiple hosts that actually have this 8622 chip bin, and you can go ahead and use it. But yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.